day like it's your last Happy Halloween! Number 10. The Curse of Frankenstein what could be more Halloween-y than sending an angry mob to Frankenstein's monster's house? You got the wrong house. Frankenstein lives, uh... Hey, he lives over there, across the moor. Across the moor? Yeah, 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 it's a big castle. Uh... Perhaps a trip to Dracula's castle? The frenzied crowd soon loses their fervor as the two horror giants have a little Halloween fun of their own. Tall guy, green, bolts in his neck. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, but that's Frankenstein. <laughs> Okay, well, I believe we made a bit of a mistake. Sorry to trouble you. Bill Hader plays the green monster brilliantly, hilariously keeping his cool even as the angry villagers pursue him. His nonchalant and coherent delivery is perfect and provides a much needed twist on traditional depictions of Mary Shelley's famous creation. What about the bolts in your neck? Oh, great, thanks a lot. I almost forgot about that spinal injury I had when I was four years old. Thanks for bringing back those rosy memories. <laughs> hey, my dog died last year. Why don't you make a few jokes about that? He makes the mob take a long, hard look at themselves and doesn't even break a sweat under the looming threat of fire. Seriously, dude? Get that fire away from me. <laughs> Here's the deal. I'm a cobbler. I make shoes and I hang out with my kids. It's such a clever spin on a classic and very funny. Number nine, Graveyard Song, featuring Jim Carrey. In this sketch, a couple gets into the Halloween spirit by bringing their booze to a graveyard. On Halloween, this place comes alive. Spirits and haunts begin to ride. You come here on the worst of nights. Say hello to our graveyard fights. However, the only spirits they end up soaking up are those haunting the location. We meet the Grim Reaper, a couple of spooky tombstone heads, a twisted rotting tree, and... We are Paul and Phil. Wait, what? Who on earth are Paul and Phil? Played scarily well by Jim Carrey and Taron Killam, these two dead guys continuously interrupt this otherwise creepy tune, leaving us breathless throughout, and not exactly from fright. What passes by but has no legs? What has a face with no, no eyes, eyes to gaze? What can strike? Oh, it's a claw! Thanks to the duo's cheery demeanors, the eerie graveyard vibe quickly disappears, leaving its other residents pretty irked. Still, we love the Paul and Phil show. Paul and Phil, we're Paul and Phil, we're Paul and Phil! Number 8. The Maryville Brothers, Haunted Castle If you're not a fan of scary rides, stay clear of this haunted castle and its terrifying residents. Sorry folks, uh, we're just having a little technical issue with the generator, but don't worry, we'll take good care of you. <laughs> this couple finds themselves stranded when the generator falters, bringing their ride to an abrupt halt. They soon learn that the Maryville Brothers barbershop animatronics are a little more lifelike than they'd prefer. Oh my goodness, oh my god, they're trying to kill us! Okay, I, you can't escape. Vanessa Bayer's character is rightfully weary, while Jay Farrow's Peter remains oblivious to the threat, even when it's literally written on the tombstone. Perhaps Bill Hader, Taron Killam, and Bruno Mars are just too convincing as robots. <laughs> And who could possibly resist Tom Hanks's charms? Even so, we'll never look at animatronics or barbershop quartets the same way again. Number 7. Shanna at a Halloween Party We all know that Kristen Wiig is an impressively versatile comedian. Sorry I'm late. Everybody, my bunny tail kept getting squished when I was driving here, so I had to take off my skirt and finish the drive in my panties. Perhaps no character displays her far reaching talents more than Shanna, the sexy co worker with a dirty streak. In this segment, her male colleagues are thrilled when she arrives at a Halloween party dressed as a bunny, and they can't stop ogling her. I'm gonna start calling you Seinfeld because that was a funny observation. <laughs> okay, Apple. Time to get hot and sticky, then go in my mouth. But when she eats a caramel apple, things start to get weird. However, they get downright alarming after her boss, played by Ben Stiller, tries to frighten her. So I hope no one really scares 
scares me. Boo! No! Wig strikes the perfect balance of funny and gross, ensuring this sketch is both spine-tingling and rib-tickling. Needless to say, Shanna's crazy antics had us in stitches. What was that? Oh, look! Oh, a little peanut just fell out of my skirt. <laughs> oh, Shanna! <laughs> Number 6. Spooky Song do ghosts usually put on musical performances in graveyards? For tonight the dead awaken. Listen well, our living friends, and hear how we all met our ends. According to SNL, they do indeed. On this occasion, four spirits spook a young couple as they sing about how they met their demise. Only there's one guy who thinks his story is better left untold. We can skip me. Happy Halloween! <laughs> The problem is that no one gets to go home unless everyone sings a verse. So he does. Then I realize there's no higher vote than the one that comes from a lightning bolt. So one stormy night, I went to my roof and I put a metal pole. In Based on the looks on everyone's faces, they quickly regret being so insistent. It's an electrifying anecdote that none of us could have possibly seen coming. Like Benjamin Franklin with his key and kite, that lightning hit my pole that night. I squealed with delight, but I quickly stopped when my insides fried and my colon popped. Chance the Rapper embodies the role brilliantly, really cracking us up with his character's obvious discomfort. It certainly is an electric sketch. Number 5. Vincent Price's Halloween Special Bill Hader's Vincent Price hosts a star-studded Halloween party. Prepare yourself for a night of spooks and scares, as we have invited over some of our most famous friends for some tricks and also some treats. But his famous friends aren't as cooperative as he'd like. Gloria Swanson, played by Kristen Wiig, really gets into her pirate character even if she isn't dressed for the part. That's what I do, and when I say I'm a pirate, mm. I'm a pirate, ah. Yeah. <laughs> She's a pirate, Price. My Jolly Roger was at full mass the whole drive over. Meanwhile, James Mason, excellently played by John Hamm, proves to be a hysterically miscast inclusion for this family-friendly show. And of course, we cannot forget Fred Armisen's more flamboyant than fearsome Liberace. While I nodded nearly guys. Is this music working for you? Because it is not working for me! It is so funny watching Price desperately try to keep his celebration on track and his unruly guests in line. The sketch was so entertaining, it even got a sequel. How great is that? It's not great, it's impossible. We do things not because they're easy, but because they are hard. I do them because they're hard and easy. We wouldn't mind if Vincent Price's Halloween specials became an annual event. Number 4. Haunted Elevator, featuring David S. Pumpkins You could create a whole theme park with the number of haunted rides we've seen on SNL over the years. And of course, David S. Pumpkins and his dancing skeletons would have to be the main attraction. How's it hanging? I'm David Pumpkins, and I'm gonna scare the hell out of you! <laughs> A couple rides a haunted elevator, encountering sights like a deceased bride, a chilling restaurant, and the scary girl from the ring. However, they also meet the enigmatic David S. Pumpkins and his boogieing buddies, who promises frights but leaves us in stitches instead. I'm David Pumpkins, man! Okay, yeah, yeah, and David Pumpkins is... His own thing! And the skeletons are... Rewatching this delightfully random and iconic sketch has even become a Halloween tradition for many SNL fans. And who could blame them? Oh. I poppy. Every single second is side-splittingly hilarious. Any questions? Number three, weekend update. Stefan on Halloween's hottest tips. Weekend Update has gifted us with unforgettable Halloween moments, including Adam Sandler's costume ideas and Garth and Kat's Halloween album. Oh, oh man! man. Oh, Jackie Jackie loves loves what? <laughs> <laughs> Where did he go? 
<laughs> Jack the Yellow Serpent. serpent. <laughs> Where did he go? go? Okay. But this segment has everything. If you're looking for the kookiest Hallow's Eve sketch, we know just the place for you. New York's hottest Halloween party is. <laughs> SNL's wackiest city correspondent, Stefan, knows how to have a good time. You know, if you're looking for something unconventional and trippy. This place is gonna have everything. Ghosts, ghouls, goblins, my son. <laughs> His suggestions are outrageously funny, and it's always entertaining to see just how long it takes Bill Hader to start laughing. The only thing that would make this segment funnier is if we could see the behind the scenes reactions every time Hater breaks character. Shall we say multiple hot dogs in his mouth at one time? Oh, I understand and stop. I understand and stop. If you understood, you wouldn't want it to stop. I do understand and I do want it to stop. Number two, a girl's Halloween. The best part of a night out is arguably getting ready for it. This is gonna be such a fun night. This night there's so much promise for the evening up ahead, and you cannot imagine anything going wrong. We watch these three friends prepare for a tame night on the town, but things don't really pan out as expected. Hey, if you want to be a cat, too, like I have extra. Oh, that's okay. I like being the cheese. What makes this sketch so funny is just how relatable it is. Depicting things like struggling with your heels in the middle of the street or loudly searching for a lost item. We love the contrast between their hopeful anticipation as they put the final touches on their cute costumes and the chaos that ultimately ensues. Ooh, I look cute. Ah! Oh my god, every year! Tonight was so fun. Hey, we've all been there. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. The Exorcist 2, featuring Richard Pryor. The only sequel we need. I have faith. I have faith. You're such a little girl. Your mother eats kitty litter. Wes Anderson horror trailer. The fact that this isn't a trailer to a real movie is pretty scary. With Tilda Swinton as the town constable. Hey, wow, we're saved. Who here are the murderers? I see. Halloween Candy featuring Edward Norton. A hysterical breakdown of our favorite Halloween candies. Here's a Klondike bar. Now what would I do for a Klondike bar? I'd suck anything you put in front of me. I'm serious, I don't care. I love Klondike bars. <laughs> Daily Affirmation, Stuart Smalley's Halloween Story. Nothing like a spooky tale to set you on the straight and narrow. Uh, and, you, uh, and just then, the operator jumps on the line. She says, the call's coming from inside the house. It's your father and he's been drinking. Googie Renee's partially damaged Halloween costume discount basement. Need a Halloween costume? Maybe look elsewhere. What do you have in your hands? I think it's a ghost costume, but the whole back stripped out. So? Ghosts don't turn around, they just approach Shia. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Matt Foley, a scary story on Halloween. After some kids pull a few Halloween tricks around the neighborhood, their dad brings in a motivational speaker to set them straight. Take everything you think you know about the profession, throw it out the window, and you've got Matt Foley. Tell you a little about myself so you'll know where I'm coming from. First off, I am 35 years old. I am thrice divorced. His loud voice, babbling stories, and clumsy tendencies are enough to spook anyone out of their childish antics. And remind us again, where does he live? And I live in a van down by the river. Chris Farley was simply one of the funniest people around, and his physical comedy was second to none. This sketch is so hysterical that even the cast can't contain their laughter. Then he threw the big game. Then he threw back his shot of whiskey. Then he threw up. Then he got thrown out of the house. Is there anything scarier than a lecture from Matt Foley? We don't know, but there's definitely nothing funnier. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.